If you don't have a macro lens, then the best way to do macro photography is probably by using an extension tube or by using a close-up filter. So how do these two compare and how do these two compare to an actual macro lens? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to compare an extension tube to a close-up filter to an actual macro lens. Alright, so before we start with the extension tube, let's try taking a photo of our subject without any um, add-ons. So to demonstrate today, we'll be using a 50mm 1.4 lens. And for lighting purposes, I have a flash set up here because uh, generally macro photography requires a lot of light. But still, I'm on a 1.4, so let's stop it down to f1.8. And let's give it a shot. I'm trying, I'm going to focus as close as this lens can go. All right, so there it is. The main subject is the 20 cent coin. Notice how small the 20 cent coin actually is. The 50 mm 1.4 is the closest focusing distance of, I forgot. Okay, 0.45 meters. So there's that. And we can move on to the extension tube. So this is the extension tube. Now this is the um, extension tube with no contact. So it's just a hollow metal tube with nothing at all. So this is the longest uh, configuration. So the good thing about uh, extension tubes is they have no optics. So you don't really have to worry about poor optics. And they are reconfigurable. That means these tubes are all removable and you can replace, uh, sorry, you can um, attach them in any configuration you want. So the longer it is, the closer it will allow you to focus. And let's get started. So it's pretty simple. And I'll be demonstrating uh, the extension tube at its longest. So that means I get maximum magnification out of the extension tube. So now we are set. Now the thing about extension tubes is the longer it gets, the more lights you'll lose. So your image gets darker, and with extension tubes, those that don't have um, op uh, sorry that don't have contacts, that means you lose autofocus and aperture control. But there is a workaround for the loss of aperture control, and that is basically you have to reattach the lens to the camera. I should have done that earlier. Now. Let's say I want it to go down to f8, but since it's off the camera and there are no contacts, it can only shoot wide open. So what I can do here is I set it to f8 on my camera and I press the depth of view preview button down here. So it closes down the um, aperture of the lens, as you can see here. Now it's closed down. So while keeping the depth of view button pressed, I detach the lens and you will see that the aperture stays closed. And all you have to do is reattach it to the extension tube. And let's go. Now, manual focus isn't that much of an issue anyway because most serious macro work is done with manual focus anyway, despite having autofocus. Now, another thing you can notice as I'm shooting with the extension tube here, you can see that I actually have to get really, really close to the subject. In fact, I'm almost touching the subject right there. So it jeopardizes your working distance. So you have to go out really, really close, which is really, really not ideal for wildlife, photo uh, sorry, for nature photography, like you're photographing bugs, insects, where you have to uh, keep quite a safe di distance before you scare off your subject. So there's one, but you do get some pretty sweet magnification out of your lens. In fact, that is incredible. The amount of detail you can see. Now, extension tubes have no optics in them, as I've said earlier. So you don't have to worry about the optics degrading your image quality. But when you are extending the lens away from your image sensor, you are actually magnifying the optics of the lens. So you are actually pushing the limits of your lens optics beyond what it's designed for. So you will get slightly um, softer images as opposed to a dedicated macro lens. So moving on, we will go to the close-up filter. So let me detach the extension tube here. 
reattach it and this is a close-up filter now basically what a close-up filter does is it has a pretty thick a piece of glass in front of it and it decreases your focus clear, uh, closest focusing distance so let's say if I put this on here I can focus much closer so let's test it on our subjects so it's just like a UV filter it screws just on the lens now the advantage of this is you don't really lose that much light with this and autofocus actually works with this now the downside is it might damage your lens because if your lens has a rotate, uh, rotating or moving front element it adds a whole lot of um, uh, it has a whole lot of work to your AF motor so eventually it might break the motor and you do have to worry about the optics because if the optics are crap your image quality will turn out crap as well So as you can see, the, uh, the magnification is actually nowhere near the extension tube and like I said, it adds optics in front of the lens so you can see it's clearly less sharp than the extension tube. Now let's move on to the actual macro lens. So this is a Canon EF100mm f2.8L macro lens with image stabilization. So let's see how a dedicated so let's see how a dedicated macro lens compares to the budget options. Now I do get a much, much usable working distance out of this lens. Now I don't have to get too close to my subject for it to work. And I get a 1 to 1 life size magnification ratio. Now I'd say the magnification is actually pretty much on par with the uh, extension tube. But well, the extension tube really depends on how long the extension tube is. If the ex extension tube isn't very long, you wouldn't get this magnification. And you can actually use extension tubes with this macro lens to get even higher magnification. So that's actually quite crazy. And the main advantage of a macro lens compared to the extension tube is of course the control over aperture and of course um, the working distance. For the extension tube, the tip of my lens was literally millimeters away from my subject whereas for the macro lens, I still had a pretty safe distance away from my subject. So there is that. So if you're so if you're doing serious macro photography, of course I would recommend you to get an actual macro lens. But if a macro lens is simply not available to you or it doesn't fit in your budget quite just yet, of course I'd go definitely for the extension tube. To me, the extension tube just um, beats the close-up filter hands down. It has no optics to interfere with your existing optics. So if your lens already has pretty good optics, this won't mess it up. And I'm not saying image quality will not degrade. It still will degrade your image quality slightly and it will lose you a lot of light. However, extension tubes are a really, really affordable solution and they actually work very, very well. So thank you all very much for watching, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see 